It's your life with Nicole and Natalie. Do what you want. Be who you destined Welcome to be. Welcome back, life first. It's your fam, Natalie and Nicole. And today is Wellness, Wellness Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> Sorry we did not get on for Free for All Friday, but... Or Motivational Monday. Yes. But things happen. Yes. And we're going to talk about those things that did happen. Yes, we are. Um, okay. So, for Wellness Wednesday, we will be talking about why we're absent. Yes. Um, so, on mm -hmm. Friday was my husband's birthday. I turned 33 and we took a family trip to the beach and um before then i was in pain like before friday um i don't know because mama will say something mm -hmm. i was in pain before friday i was like heavy bleeding well not heavy bleeding but abdominal bleeding and pain but yes that the the bleeding mm -hmm. but um mm -hmm. i was in pain but you know i thought it was just regular cramps went to work on friday um still feeling bad but you know whatever and so when we we got um we packed and all that stuff was getting ready to go um everybody kept asking me you know you okay you okay yes i'm fine because i didn't want to ruin the trip for mm -hmm. everybody because I had already paid, and okay, we're going to go, and we're going to have a great time. Right. So, um, the whole time we were there, I was hurting. Mm -hmm. and Natalie and Mama went, bought, uh, Natalie got me a heating, well, let me use her heating pad. I mean, they bought me icy, hot patches, because it was like on my, all on my right side only. Mm -hmm. uh, my <clears throat> under, uh, my lower abdomen and my lower back. Mm-hmm. Once again, I thought it was just cramps. But then I knew it was a little bit more severe because I started having blood clots. And I never have blood clots during my period. And this one was... Were they this big? Because like, I know you said, was it this big or bigger? No, it was about that big. So, it was bigger than the size of a quarter. So it was about this size right here. Yeah, it, it was big. They were big. They that? soaked this, the pad. This, that's so, just a top to a medicine ball. That's a big clot. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, and it was, it was to the point where like I could barely walk. I didn't eat, um, mm -hmm. I drank some water, but I didn't eat any food. Like when, when I did eat, it was like literally two bites. Mm -hmm. So that Sunday, um, no, that Saturday we, you know, everybody wakes, everybody's waking up. I was not getting any sleep cause I couldn't find a comfortable position. Mm -hmm. Um, when I finally did go to sleep, um, the heat pad was shut off after, a certain amount of hours of it being on so then the pain would start immediately so i would try to get up walk around it didn't help so tylenol or oh, i didn't take tylenol excuse me i took ibuprofen because that's all i take they didn't help either mm -hmm. well they want anything but just a 200 milligrams so i took three of those and you can't take more than six within a 24-hour setting so i was okay well there's no point in me taking three more if these three didn't help the first time all right so um that saturday morning my husband had uh, made me a croissant just a plain croissant and one of these little mini muffins you know things are small <laughs> they, they were small they were good though i ate half the croissant and gave my dog kai the other half because i couldn't eat it like i, I felt nauseous mm -hmm. so then we would um where we stayed first of all yeah ever go we stayed um we went to Carolina Beach, beautiful beach. Where we stayed, it was right across the street from the lemon beach. Lemon Twist. Yes, Lemon Twist. Airbnb, it was right across the street from the beach. It was really beautiful. You could literally walk to the beach. It was maybe Amazing. a two-minute walk, if that. So beautiful. The place we stayed in, it was a, a screened-in porch. As soon as you look out of the porch, the beach is right there. The ocean is right there. It was really it. beautiful. It was really nice. Um, it wasn't packed. The beach wasn't packed. It was, it was beautiful. But anyway... So that's Saturday, um, while everybody's out having fun, I guess, doing, you know, going places, I'm stuck at the house only because I am in pain and I can't move. And I'm just like, dang, man, I'm missing out on everything. And once again, I didn't want to ruin the trip for my husband. So every time he would ask me, you know, you okay? You good? You sure? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I was like, you know, if I don't feel any better by the time we get back to Greensboro, I will go to the hospital. So... That Sunday, because it was a three and a half hour drive. Mm -hmm. So, driving up here, we had to keep stopping because I had to keep going to the bathroom to change my 
feminine products. So, um, Sunday when we got ready to leave, I was in pain, but then we had we was coming back to Greensboro and we didn't have to stop that many times, but I mm -hmm. felt it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I felt it like the pain, but I was just trying to get comfortable. Like no matter where where I, I was laying or sitting, like eat, sitting up now hurts because it's all pressure right here on my left side. I'm on my right side. Laying down was easy for me. And so, um, came back and we got back like around three, almost four o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. And so I told Jody, I was like, hey, look, I'm just going to go upstairs. I'm going to lay down. My dog was tired. Kai played so much this weekend. It was ridiculous. So Great he was, dog yeah, this weekend. He, he was completely wiped out. So he laid beside me. He flopped on that bed and, and was, was gone. gone. Yeah. Was At my you. feet, he was gone. And so, um, I put the heating pad on me and I was good. I was asleep. But once that heat pad shut off, my body knew. And I woke up and I just felt bad. So I texted my husband. I was like, hey, look, 15 minutes, I'm ready to go to the hospital. And um, side note, I think my dog knew something was wrong with me. Because Kai's been up under me like the past couple days. I'm like, dang, Kai, everywhere I go, he's like putting his head on my stomach. I'm like, Kai, mm -hmm. please, like, you know, let me, let me, let me. I need some room to breathe. <laughs> he wasn't trying to hit it. So he was just like really attached. I mean, he's already attached to me as it is. Like, I mean, for real, he will follow me everywhere in the house. It doesn't matter. But this time he was like really, you know, I was having to kind of push him off of me or whatever, but he wasn't having it. So I'm like, okay. And so, um, Jody, I thought he was going to be able to go in the hospital with me because they told him that she, I could have one person, but no, it's still the same. We went to Wesley Lawn. Um, still the same. You can, they can be there with you when you check in, but that's it. They got to so, leave as soon as you check in? Yep, like they have to leave. Outside. Mm -hmm. They can stand outside. Because of COVID. Yeah, because That's of COVID. So, um, I couldn't have anybody in there with me. That's like one of my biggest fears is not having, you know, something happen and um, nobody's in there with me. No one knows. Right. Um, my mother, she works at Wesley Long, but she works in the cancer department. So, I was like, you know, mom was off to... So I didn't have anybody in there with me, but the the nurses. I had a nurse named Corey. He was so freaking cool. I mean, he he made you feel good. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I went in there and they took my blood pressure. Blood pressure's high. Um, once again, I'm in pain. And so I know this video is like, dang Nicole, you doing all the talking? So go ahead. It is Wellness Wednesday, and this is a wellness. But um, yeah, so yeah. Corey. I mean, uh, they take me back. First of all, the wait wasn't long at all for me to be to get my vitals. You know how long you go to when you go to the hospital, like Moses Cone. Mm. You wait in an hour just to get your vitals mm -hmm. taken. And after that you wait another hour to get to a room if, if they feel like they need to put you in a room. Right. But this wasn't that that at all. And then they new thing they got in there, they text you. Okay, yeah. there's a staff member coming to we're preparing your room for you. Mm -hmm. A staff member's about to come and get your vitals. I mean they they constantly kept you up there. Yeah. So anyway, I had, um, I had, um, they took me back to the room because they asked me what was going on and I told them my symptoms were, um, it was April 16th, April 18th. I have been bleeding since April 6th. Um, this was the longest period I've ever had. It was a period where I didn't have to use a tampon. All I used was a pad, and it was the first for me in a long time where I had a period where I didn't want to use, um, or I didn't have to use a tampon. And normally my periods last me for five days, but this one was not, it wasn't letting up. And then I started having those big, uh, blood clots. Blood clots. Blood so, clots. Yes. <laughs> so it just made me want to go. Plus the pain mm -hmm. was where... You know, I could not get, because I know, like, all my pregnant women out there, the women that has been pregnant before, you know that when you're pregnant, when you get the the higher up in months you get, for me, it was me laying on my, I mean, me on my knees and laying on the bed like this. That was how I elevated my back. Oh, I remember. Yeah. Um, um, how did you elevate your back when you was pregnant? Girl. How did you lay? Because we didn't have, like, the pillows and all that stuff. Now I got the little pillow that you can put. Yeah. And then when you, if you, even if you did use a pillow, which I did, it they went flat. flat. Yeah, not like the one I got now. Yeah, like, dang. I mean, I'm literally like, I don't, you know, got it nice and yeah. nice and rolled up like this. Yeah. And as soon as I put my legs in it, 
I was like, gosh. So I was like, man, I, I even tried laying like that, but it didn't work. But anyway, so um, they go in there and they take my, take my, my, they start me with an IV because I, you know, I told them that I haven't been able to eat anything and drink anything and they needed me to give a urine sample and they wanted to see if I was pregnant, blah, blah, whatever. So the lady had took, um, gave me an IV. How many times they stick you? She stuck me twice. She tried wow. to stick me here. That's great. Actually. So I wouldn't have to get my arm. Mm -hmm. But then she said that my something it was splitting the splitting the thing. She had to use an ultrasound to get my vein. I'm like, she's like, I know that you're dehydrated. And I was like, yeah, because all I do is drink water for me. If you know me, all I do is drink a lot of water. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I have really good veins, but the I last couple of days, I've, I just couldn't eat or drink anything. Dang. So, uh, but she stuck with that. That's, that's what she told Twice. me. She said, mm -hmm. wow. she said, do not move. She's like, do not move your arm. If anybody asks you to move your arm, slap them with your other hand. <laughs> so, her name was Lilabeth at Wesley Long. She was so sweet. So, um, I'm in there or whatever, and I'm in pain, but... With our family, we do not like taking pills. Like, we don't like the, you know, I take a, a, a ibuprofen here and there. Mm -hmm. But that hard stuff, oxycodone and, 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 I don't know, what's the rest of them? Hydro, I don't Isn't know. Isn't that oxycodone? I, I don't know, shoot, girl, don't get me lying to you. Whatever, we don't, don't like taking that stuff, I don't, okay? I don't like taking I'm much. like, okay, you know what, um, because opioid addiction is very real. Yeah. Um, I've known someone with a drug addiction. It is not, it is not a pretty sight mm -hmm. it's hard to get off of i don't i didn't want to go through that so we've always been that way yeah so um the, the late man. it is a little bit cold the man asked me um cory or was it your yeah name? no it was cory cory said do you he, i was like um because i think i was on the phone with natalie then mm -hmm. i said hey you know look I, they, they asked me for if i wanted anything but i said no but can i get something that you know the pain is just a little it's beginning to get a little too much for me now so he gave me two Tylenol. So then um, I was like, okay, so I'm waiting for it to kick in. I'm like, mm -hmm. nothing. Mm -hmm. But I was like, you know what? I'm not going to complain. Right. Okay. He gave it to me. It didn't work. Oh, well. So uh, the man come in. And the doctor, he's asking me what's wrong. And I'm telling him his name was Josh. He comes in and asks me what's wrong. And I'm telling him. And he's like, okay, um, we just, you know, we're going to wait on your lab results to come back and then we'll go from there. But, you know, do you want to get an ultrasound? And I was supposed to get one before, but it was like $1,000. I was like, in the, the lady said, even with my insurance, it was $1,000. So, mm -hmm. John was like, um, Josh, excuse me, Josh or John? Because I had one named Josh, one named John, mm -hmm. Jay. He said, <clears throat> okay, now I could send you to an OBGYN and they can give you an ultrasound. It will cost you about a thousand dollars, or your insurance can pay for this one here, and I can get you one done. Do you want that? Absolutely. Okay. So they gave me two ultrasounds: the outside ultrasound and then the pelvic ultrasound. The vaginal. Uh, the vaginal. I'm sorry, the vaginal ultrasound, and I did have to have a pelvic exam. Mm-hmm. That is the worst yeah, thing for me. Like I the it. worst. Because, number one, I'm bleeding. So, when they made me remove my undergarments, and I was like, I'm so sorry because I've been having blood clots. And I know once I remove my undergarment, a blood clot is going to drop. And, she, and like I said, Lilla Beth, she was so sweet. Oh, baby, it's okay. Mm -hmm. As soon as I remove my undergarments, boom, a blood clot on the floor. And I was just like, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. She's like, why are you apologizing? It's okay. It's okay. So... They're in there with me, and they're, you know, um, you know, getting me together, whatever. And so, um, I want to say his name is Josh. Josh, my ultrasound tech, he comes in there, and he's, you know, telling me everything he's going to do. I'm on the phone with my husband now, because <clears throat> he's sitting in the parking lot. And Jody's like, just keep me on the phone, you know. Yeah, because he was, oh, no, I'm going call you back. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> he was like, just keep me on the phone. So, so shut up. No call back. <laughs> so, um, um, he's like, you know, he's telling me he's going to do the, the, the outside ultrasound. Mm -hmm. We just put the gel, just a little bit warm, warm gel, and they, you know, do oh, it. The pregnancy one. Yeah. That junk hurts. It was hurting me because what he had to put you was like 10 minutes. 
my butt was lifted up. It was already pain on my on my my lower back. It was just hurting me. And I'm sitting there. I am not a crier, especially in a situation like this. So I'm sitting there. And I'm like, <laughs> I mean, I'm shedding tears, but I'm crying so silent. I'm like. So then he said, you know, he was like, I'm so sorry I'm hurting you. I'm like, oh, it's okay. You know, you're helping me. You're just doing your job. He said, you know, did they give you anything? I said, oh, well, Corey gave me two Tylenol uh, uh, like about 45 minutes ago, but it isn't kicking. He said, Tylenol? They ain't nothing but sugar pills. <laughs> so he was like, no. He was like, give me a moment. So he went out there and he was like, hey, look, you know, I know that, you know, she said she didn't want anything, but now she's really in pain. She's solid. He was like, and I'm not picking on you. But he was like, all I hear is, <laughs> it was true. That's what I was doing. And he was like, so can we please get her something? So they gave me some pills or whatever and gave me some water. And I had to use the bathroom because they gave me an IV with saline to, because, you know, I wasn't. Dehydrated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they gave me an IV with saline. So it was just, my bladder was full. So he was like, but you can't use the bathroom. We have to have your bladder full so we can do your outside um, ultrasound. And then before we do the, uh, the vaginal ultrasound, then you have to use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. I said, okay. So after he finished that, he was like, okay, you know, you ready to use the bathroom? I'm like, yes. And I was like. But you know, uh -huh. a little embarrassing. I will drip. He was like, oh, it's okay. We'll bring you a bedpan. I said, okay. So they brought me a little, not a bedpan, but the little, you know what I'm talking about? It's like a toilet, a portable oh, toilet. Oh, like the bedside toilet. That's yeah, what it's yeah, called. Yeah, like, I'm about to say something that was completely, you know what I'm about to say? What? Okay. <laughs> okay. So they bring me the, the portable toilet, mm -hmm. the bedside toilet. And I, you know, I get ready to sit on. I'm like, wait a minute. Y'all, my thighs. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like uh, okay, so I hit the button. I said, yes, hello. This is Nicole Stafford. I was like, um, I have to use the bathroom, and you guys bought me a portable bedside toilet. I can't do it. My thighs are too big. Corey, who was my nurse, he said, say what now? <laughs> I said, and I repeated. He said, oh, okay, I got you, I got you. So he come in, he was like, girl, come on out here and use this bathroom. <laughs> so, like I said, they were, the staff mm -hmm. that I had at Wesley Long mm -hmm. on the 18th of April was the sweetest staff. Like, they made made me feel comfortable because my biggest thing is I, I, I at least wanted either my husband, my mother, or my sister there. Mm -hmm. And I had neither. I mean, Jody's in the parking lot. It's late. And I'm like, but nobody could be in there with me. Right. So, anyway, um, they come back with my test results. No, wait, let me go back. So, he he does the vaginal uh, ultrasound, and he finds, he was like, okay, so you know how you taking hormone pills? And I was like, no, I'm not taking any hormone pills. Mm -hmm. And he was like, okay. He was like, well, uh, um, let me go run these to the, to, the, to the lab so I can get your results back. I said, okay. So, Corey coming in. And he was like, <laughs> why are you laying like that? Because <laughs> mind y'all, I'm uncomfortable. I'm trying to be comfortable. So I'm laying like this. He was like, why are you laying like that? <laughs> I was like, because Miss Lilibeth told me that, you know, where my ivy, my ivy was right here. And the bend in my arm. Mm -hmm. And she said, you know, if I, I can't move because the, because uh, of the, the machine will go off. So he was like, so you landed here frozen? <laughs> he was like, girl, move. He was like, move. He was like, go ahead and move. It's going to go up. I'm going to just press the button for you. So he was like, get comfortable. So I stood up on the bed. I was like, oh, I'm frozen. No, okay. yes, calm. I, mean, I was really like, so then he lifted me, lifted me up a little bit. And I got comfortable and I started, you know, dozing off a little bit. That's how comfortable I finally got. Mm -hmm. So then the, the doctor finally comes in. I forgot her name. She was really sweet. Um... The thing is, they do. They did check on me. You know, constantly asked me, and I was so hungry, but I was like, no, nope, because I felt, even now, uh, Natalie took me out to breakfast, and I felt nauseous yeah. after I ate. So I just gotta get that under control. I'm not pregnant, you know. Um, Somebody said a liquid diet. Try a liquid diet for like a couple of days. Like maybe some chicken balls, like vegetable balls. That yeah, just a light, like like a light diet. No real solid foods. And yeah, because like it just really, Jello stuff like that. Just to. I really like Jello. Um, it shakes. You're eating to live. Ooh, you're not living to eat. That's how the Jello shake. So that's true, but I don't like Jello. But you're not. It doesn't matter. It will still give you nutrients. Right. But I don't like Jello. But anyway, moving on. Uh, <laughs> so 
kind of found out I had I was diagnosed with abnormal bleeding um mm -hmm. something else I'm not gonna say um ovarian cyst yeah. and fibroids so in in all on my right side that's where they all are mm -hmm. so Dang. um they're like they want to make sure that the pain and the bleeding that I was dealing with was from the because where my cyst sits and my appendix is really close together and they want to make sure that it wasn't I wasn't bleeding because something's wrong my appendix but okay well hold on sidebar crazy thing Nicole was going through this we came up we came up here typically about the same time mm -hmm. this probably like a day apart yeah which is yeah. yeah um I have still been bleeding no pain but because she's bleeding I'm bleeding. Mm -hmm. That's what happened last time when all this happened. How long cousin was still been past? It's been a year. A year. Mm -hmm. This is what happened. It's the same thing. She would bleed and go through the pain. I mean, severe pain, and I would just spot. And yeah. now I'm still spotting because she's not fully, you know, all done bleeding yet. Yes, yeah. and that's y'all think this twin thing is a joke. No, it's, it's not, not a joke. It's not a joke. It ain't all glitz and glamour either. Right. Oh, I have someone I can always talk to. I have someone I can dress a life with. <laughs> okay. okay. What about when you feel their pain? Yeah. Like, what about when they're in labor? Yeah. And you feel their pain? This is serious business. Like, guys. legit. Like, it's it's not all glitz and glamour. You uh, So, I would call the call and be like, your period coming on. She be like, I bought you on your period. Yes, I was like, okay, I knew because my back hurt. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, that's crazy. Because I, I ain't got no, mm, like, no cramps. Like, I'll then feel I her call cramps her. and then she'll feel my cramps. Yeah, but, um, then my head hurting today. Like, my back hurting. I agree, I'm on my period. Oh, that makes total sense. Nothing. This is this is for real. Yeah, it really is. This is for real. So, continue, please. Okay, <laughs> they gave me three pills. Um, I take an antibiotic. They gave me some, um hydrocodone and something else that you only uh, i only took oh ibuprofen that's mm -hmm. what it was ibuprofen the ibuprofen was like 600 milligrams i took one of those um yesterday and of course i've been taking my antibiotics i take twice a day but um and then i have i have an appointment at 3 p.m today sorry 3 20 today mm -hmm. to talk to my primary care physician to see what's going on because my blood pressure was really high i was on blood pressure medication but it did go down mm -hmm. Because if I'm being honest, my blood pressure was like two fifty two over one. I can't remember one fifty something. One fifty six or something. I have a text message, and then once I left, um, my blood pressure was one fifty eight over one eighteen. What was it before? Huh? It was two forty two over one fifty six. Yeah, so it it went down tremendously. But they was like, you know, no, you in pain. So the lady, the, the the doctor came in there and she said, um, you know, look, I, I normally do not prescribe uh, painkillers for, you know, this. But she's like, I understand this. You know, I understand what you're going through. She's like, I know you pain. She's like, I can't believe that, you know, you are still able to walk in here. And I was like, you know, even went to the beach on Saturday. Yeah. And got in the water with that, us. I was like, that ain't nothing but the grace of God, y'all. And had real. fun, mm -hmm. too. It was really ain't nice. nothing but the grace of God that I was able to walk in here. But, um... Uh, so now the whole thing is for me to see, okay, what's going on now? Um, it, the pills I'm taking, is it shrinking it? Cause they say you can take ibuprofen as you know, uh, cysts coming in different sizes. Um, yeah. and, and some of them are non-cancerous. So, you know, whatever case may be, they want to make sure that what I have is non-cancerous. Mm -hmm. Um, I was so worried. And let me tell you, sidebar, please stop asking people when they're going to have kids. Please stop asking people, oh, why don't you and your husband have kids together? Oh, why don't, you know, it's been years. Please stop. It is so insensitive. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have an 18-year-old daughter. You think I don't want more kids? I do. I would love to have another child. Be, me and Jody been want to have another child. But th this stuff is causing it not to happen. It hurts. Mm -hmm. constantly please stop and i hate when i go around family and somebody just had a baby oh y'all next y'all next when y'all please stop it is so insensitive mm -hmm. so insensitive because you have absolutely no idea what goes on behind closed doors how we've been trying absolutely. and how it bothers my husband it, it just it really hurts please stop mm -hmm. if you are a family members of mine 
or of Jody's and you're watching this and you're please think before you ask me that question or before you ask him that question it's very insensitive but anyway so they gave me those pills and they said that um i'll talk to my primary care doctor today what's wrong oh sorry mm -hmm. <laughs> my map is a little juicy one moment they talked, uh, I talked to my primary care physician today and then I'll, you know, let me know what's going on. Um, I took it upon myself to stop. And, and if you do take medication, please don't stop taking medication until you talk to your primary care physician. Mm -hmm. Because I stopped taking my high blood pressure medication because what I was taking was too high for me. Um, the dosage was too high and it was causing me to be dizzy all the time. Um, so... And I did not know that if you stop taking it, you can cause your liver to fail. You'll be on dialysis, and I don't need that. Kidney. I mean, kidneys to fail. I'm sorry. Kidneys to fail, and you'll be on dialysis. Mm -hmm. I don't want that. I don't need that. Nobody wants that or need that. Right. So if you can prevent that, please, before you stop taking your medication, make sure it's approved by your primary care physician. Do not listen to anybody else but the person that you are going to see mm -hmm. who is taking care of you. Please be honest with your doctors. Um, they are there for a reason. And we're let's paying not, them. Like... Right. Let's not lie to them um, because this has affected me in so many ways that now um, when I do talk to um my daughter today i'm gonna bring up just everything uh everything with this like um you know bleeding this long has affected you know we're grown my sex life mm -hmm. you know um my sex drive has went from here to here to here because of this yeah. so i need to know like you know what's going on and then i was so worried because my mother has went through this she had to have a hysterectomy my grandmother, which is my mother's mother, went through this. She had to have a hysterectomy. Mm -hmm. And I was like, dang, man, I'm 33 years old. I would love another child. If I have to have a hysterectomy, that's it for me. But there's other things I could do. I didn't know that. That's why it's so good to not jump the gun mm -hmm. and get all your facts together first. That's right. And then we was also talking about looking into some holistic uh Because mm -hmm. I really do whatever. not like pills. Yeah, so... Um, um, I was I was really I really I heard really, you at the nail shop with Ben. Yeah. Um he that's what he was telling me, some stuff, whatever. But yeah, I just really wanna look into some holistic stuff or whatever. I like I said, I don't wanna say what it is because I'm not sure. Yeah. But this is why you research. Yes. You don't go with the first thing you see, you research and then you research what you research and then exactly. so on and so forth. Yeah. So that's what I want. Cause um I feel like that there is a cure for a lot of stuff it's a lot of things they may not want us to know we're not going to do it. we're not going to like delve mm -hmm. in or whatever but it's just it's a lot of stuff that you know people don't want us to know but we can it's a lot of things that we can do to heal ourselves yeah and i really want to like the whole uh, getting off the blood pressure medicine i agree i'm i'm for me too um and just basically taking care of ourselves like mm -hmm. i'm not saying like i know um doctors have a degree for a reason but um, edu why not educate yourself as well? Yeah. You know, and there's also it's always an alternative method to do something. You know, so I'm yeah. I'm, I'm I really and then not even that. not even sorry to cut you off, not even to just uh, educate yourself. Well, make sure you ask your doctors questions. Yeah. Um, and if I doctors, ask a lot of yeah, questions. If your now. doctors feel like they can't answer, then maybe we need to find a new doctor. Or ask them like, hey, can you point me in the right direction? Yeah. My I, we go to the same doctor. Um, Dr. Teddy Boy, and I ask her a lot. Fine. Okay, if I don't, if I don't get it from her, which I normally do, but she's not in the office, I go to the um, PA, which is Tyranny, mm -hmm. Tyranny Osborne. I go to her, and trust me, they're going to, they're going to find some questions. Yeah. They're going, I mean, they're going to find, find some answers, answers to the mm -hmm. question that you're asking. Like seriously, but they're really good, and they will get on you. Like if they be like, oh well, how long you been feeling this way? Like when I was talking about my anxiety and depression, how long you been feeling this way? Oh. So some years. Well, why, why are you just not saying something? Mm -hmm. Like they are really like they really want to see you be the best you that you can possibly. Be. Yeah, you only you, you, this is your this is your your, your vessel. Mm -hmm. You have to take care of your vessel. Yes. Until you depart and you, you know you go with the Lord, but you have to take care of your vessel. You do. So you really really do. Um, with me, I believe that, but I, I don't know, but I do know that one of the side effects was. The bloating. I kept telling ex and everybody. I was like, "You did, y'all. Do I do I look pregnant? Like my I was stomach? Like, no, like, are you fine? Yeah, but you I I fine? know my body. I'm like, no, I feel like even you know, even you now, still that, you still feel bloated now. Yeah, because I haven't. Because one of the symptoms is it 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 makes you be constipated, and I'm scared to take anything until I talk to Doctor Board about. She's what scared I to can take, take anything, but just made me drink because she's not going through what I'm going through. This so. whole thing. 
Yeah. That's her fault. I'm constipated as well, but that's because of my MS. Yeah, so, so unfortunately, that causes. <sighs> That's a whole conversation for another day, girl. So, um, I felt like, you know, I felt yes, like yes. I was, I was like, dang, you know, I'm, I'm a big woman, but I don't look pregnant. So once I felt like, I, you know, my stomach was poking out there, now mm -hmm. it's back to normal. But I felt like, I was like, dang, you know, do I look pregnant? Everybody, no, 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 no. But I knew, um, no, okay. I knew, <laughs> <laughs> I knew myself. And then, you know, she told, the, the, uh, doctor told me, yeah, yeah, you're, you're definitely bloated. And I was like, okay, um, thank you for telling me that because I just want to make sure I'm not losing my mind. And I have to tell myself, tell I talk to Dr. Boyd, Nicole, do not Google. Girl. Because I get in my own head and my husband, he, and you know, he's like, Nicole, get out your head. And I, Nicole knelt with so many things because I'm in my head. I'm not going to feel better until I um, finish with my visit. So uh, once I finish with my visit and I finish out, I mean, and I, figure out what treatments needs to happen, then I'll come back and I'll update you guys on what um, the treatments Yeah, because I'm pretty sure it's other, it's other women out there that are going through the same thing mm -hmm. that um, probably haven't talked to their doctor and thinking that it could be normal. Yeah. But it's why it's important that we get our pap smears um, and all that and, you know, get your annual physical mm -hmm. because definitely with the pap smear because it lets them be able to see a timeline of any abnormal thing. Yeah, I found out that my my white uh white blood cells are just a little bit elevated mm -hmm. listen i know they're going to talk about this um but you know dr board is my uh hemoglobin was slow so you know i have a little bit of anemia i'm sure i do i knew that why because eating ice. the ice girl but yes. i just love ice regardless though mm. it doesn't really matter i just love ice but um <laughs> so i just know that you know that but some conversations need to be had. Yeah, I will be be um talking with Dr. Tammy. You got your talking points for her? I actually do. Hey, I actually hey, do hey, because hey. I need I, I need to make sure that I'm hitting everything mm -hmm. in this visit. I don't want to leave this visit with any unanswered questions. Mm -hmm. I don't want to leave this visit like, dang, I should have asked her. Although I can email her anytime now while I'm in her face because she give it to me raw. I love it. Yeah. Um. So. <sighs> I'm just going to, to, to make sure I talk with her and let her know, like, hey, you know, X, Y, Z has been going off me, and I need to know, you know, what can I do? Right. Um, because I have been on on my my healthier lifestyle since J January 25th. Now, I will say I have fallen off um, as far as the eating or whatever, um, even the working. Okay, I'm not going to say the eating because the eating is okay, the working out. Mm -hmm. But... This right here, I know that it played a huge, huge thing. Yeah. And I know, like, who's that? Hmm, who that is? But it's all about to get back on track. It doesn't it matter how many times you start. As long as you don't give up. That's right. Um, I, mean, I have this shirt that I bought from um, Abu Bakar. Okay, it's called I Hustle. Mm -hmm. And... I am so, I bought it in a smaller size for a reason because what I'm doing with my life, I'm hustling. Mm -hmm. Like with with my dreams, I'm hustling. With my aspiration and goals, I'm hustling. And when I put on that shirt, I want it to be a true definition of that shirt. I hustle. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I cannot wait to, yes, you okay. know, I to, love to, that. To, to, to able to get in there. But I don't have anything else to say. Mm -hmm. uh, I just I just really have to get to the appointment and figure out um, what's going on. Like I said, we'll update you guys. Our next video will be Free For All Friday. Mm -hmm. What are we doing on Free For All Friday? I guess you just have to watch and find out now, okay. don't you? I do want to say that when we was in South Carolina... No, we was in Carolina. No, we wasn't in Carolina. We were in South Carolina. I got a new nose ring. I got a piercing. I can get one. Mm. Mm. I told Cole, now she has to get one. So that way we can match. My daughter wanted me to get one, but no. She said, oh, I'll pay. No. So, yeah. I said I want another one. And then my uh, significant other said, you're not going to have any more nose left. I already have one. I just don't have my ring again. I have one right here. So I don't need another one right here. <laughs> that that could be Natalie's thing. Not mine. More tattoos, though. More tattoos, most more definitely. Tattoos, but just... Yes, one tattoo is Dang, that hurt. 
Um, her knuckles was a little dry. Who yours? No, I said hers, so that means you. Ooh, no, my knuckles is fine. This video, look at that. I put on lotion. Y'all didn't see me have to put on any lotion. Mine's look great as well. I was just trying to show off my nails. Okay, you guys. So, um, how, how we just have a three quick questions. Okay, how are you? How are you? Okay, how's your mental? And have you been kind to yourself? Okay. How are you? Um, besides being bloated, um, bloated, bloated, and um, that's that's my mother calling. Uh, besides being bloated, and I really have to go see my neurologist um, because I know we're gonna have to schedule another MRI soon. Um, mama can't get one. Mama gonna call the other. <coughs> but um, go ahead. I have to call my neurologist and set up a appointment because I know another MRI. I get an MRI every one to three, every one to one and a half years, and it's time to get an MRI because mm -hmm. it's also time for blood work. Mm -hmm. Just check on my uh, blood count levels and make sure that my medicine is not attacking my liver. Um, do you believe? I'm sorry to cut you off. Do you believe one one wellness video we could talk about your MS? Sure, we can. Are What's, you are you comfortable talking? I'm comfortable. About it? Yeah, now I'm comfortable talking about it. We I think about that a lot of people uh, don't don't believe that MS affects our um, our race, American community, right? Because I didn't, I, I really didn't know about it until yeah. So we're gonna say that we're not even gonna okay. get into it. But um, yeah, other than that, uh, I'm okay. A little headache right now, but that's it. And this stuff was really nasty, and it's just mm -hmm. sitting right there. Anyways, how you doing? I'm good. I'm in pain right now, but I'm not good. a lot of pain. But mm -hmm. it's like I said, it's because I'm sitting sitting up. I know. Um, and you do have a doctor's appointment in a little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> girl, yes. um, I am okay though. Uh, besides being in pain, um, my mental is good. Um, it'll be better once I figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. Haven't been kind to of myself. This is me being kind to of myself. I uh -huh, should have been kind to of myself a long time yes, ago. Yes, ma'am. And I realize now when I've been saying I've been kind to of myself by me ignoring what I've been feeling, I haven't been kind to of myself. Mm. So, um, Please do not ignore the signs because y'all, this could have went some. It could have been. It so could have went worse. ten times worse than what it was. Yeah. Thank God that they caught it when they caught it. Um, but we gotta stop putting ourselves on the back burner I because you know what? It wasn't even my family. It was me. Mm -hmm. Everybody that was worried about me, but me being me, not wanting to. Um, kill the vibe, ruin the trip. I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm good. Except when you text me. Oh, Do you yeah. remember texting me? That I didn't feel good. Mm -hmm. she, yeah. she said, I'm just going to let you know, just so you know. Yeah. Okay, because I, Cause I really had to let somebody know. Because um, it was just too much going on. In my, like I said, I got in my head. My mental is okay, now that, you're, now that we know. Because, uh, of course, once... Uh, when, because like I said, this happened last time. Um, it's been, like I said, when our cousin Lucille passed away, this is what happened. When we went to the funeral, and Nicole was feeling this way, and so last time was worse though, because I was feeling <clears throat> heavy. Yeah, you were. Like, so like going through past like yeah, this and every tampons. hour. Yeah. So I went in the bathroom and I was researching stuff because mm -hmm. like of course I'm gonna worry. I'm the worrier. I try not to be. I've been doing really good with not worrying so as much, but it's still gonna be though. Oh, this wow. is this is my younger sister. Like oh, no. even by two minutes, she's still younger sister. It's my twin. So. I was sitting there and I was like, I was uh, researching. Then when I got to the bathroom, I was like, well, this is what I found out. Because I knew, I knew Nicole. Nicole was like, I'm scared. She was like, I'm scared. And I, it, it takes a lot for us to admit that we're scared of something. So mm -hmm. she was like, I'm scared. And I was like, okay, well, this is what I found out. And I was like, I really think you had, like I said, mm -hmm. ovarian cysts and um, uh, uh, fi uterine fibroids. And that's exactly what she had. And so I was looking at the treatments, and like I know hysterectomy had to happen years ago, but thank God medicine has evolved. Um, oh, excuse me, y'all. We, we now have the power of technology, mm -hmm. to do medical technology, so it doesn't have to be the end all to be the be all to end all. Mm -hmm. Is that how you say it? So I'm fine now. Mm -hmm. Like I'm fine now because we know what was going on. I'm fine now. Like I really am. Um, have I been kind to myself? Um. Yeah, actually, I have been. I have been kind to myself. I was not feeling good at all Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. um, wasn't feeling good at all, like, 
just wasn't feeling good. So I didn't go to work on Tuesday. Yeah. Um, my sis sounded bad, y'all. Okay, I felt so horrible. Mm. <laughs> I felt horrible. So today is a better day. It. <laughs> Anywho, uh, <laughs> Anywho, but yeah, we've we been come shut up. We, I've been kind to myself. We I, even on Monday, um, even got to a uh, chance to go out with our other sis, Cat, and went out to eat. Yes, Cat, we love you, girl. Yes, girl. It was just amazing conversation. It was just it just flows. It it does. Um, Cat does uh Celeste treats. Yes, on Instagram, S E L I S E T R E A T S. That is her name on Instagram. And check her out. She's yes. awesome. Um, she made the robes when we had went to the beach. Yes, and it's, she does way more than treats. Yeah, she like, does. She a really. Lot. She made my mask. I got a. Uh, dang, that's not it. I thought that was a mask. That's a dang on. This is a mask. Well, this is uh, one of the one of our job masks. Uh, I'm about uh, to say. Did you count that? Yeah, the name. Mean. But uh, mm. she made me a mask that says "Get the brick, the head, and leaves." So I was like, "Can I wear this here?" And so they was like. No, Courtney. No, and really? I was like, get that bread is get that money. Okay, that head is that knowledge, and then you leave. It's like that was nice, but no. But no. uh, <laughs> um, she does so much more. Uh, anyways, just had a great time with her with girl time, and it's been amazing. It was that Monday was really nice. It was it's beautiful so, outside. This is beautiful outside right now. Yeah, so we about to get out. So, so I can go to Nikki Nicole can go to her appointment, and we will see y'all again for. Um, free for, free all, for all Friday. Friday. I couldn't even get it out. And oh, she should have the table. Okay, wow. All right. All right. We love y'all. We hope y'all have a wonderful day. Please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Please tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody about It's Your Life. Yes. Uh, we appreciate each and every one of you. Um. Yeah. We'll see you guys on Friday. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Can you cut that out?